Hello guys, hope you're doing well. For today's episode, I am going to use React Select package to build credible dropdowns. As you can see in this add user form, I have a rules field that user can select between items. But here, as you can see, sometimes we need to add a dynamically new elements to this form. For example, if I want to add an alter, I can click on it and as you can see it will be added to my uh, drop down options and here i have another field for tags as you can see i can write my word and press in their button and then it will be added again car ship yeah and we can remove them one by one or using this button to remove all if you want to learn how to build these elements in React.js using React Select components, watch this video until the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, make sure you do it now uh, because in this way you don't miss anything in future. Okay, let's start. As you can see, I have an empty React.js project which you can download it from my github I will add the link in the description of this video uh, and I removed uh, the drop down elements to do it together let me show you here I have a, a simple form with three text box and a submit button and as you can see here I have app.js file which is a container for my component named register and within it I just have some styles I made them ready because I uh, didn't want to uh, make it uh, too long video and here I'm using hooks to manage the state of these elements these input boxes and yeah finally I have a submit button here and we are going to use react select package together to show you how we can have a uh, curtable drop downs to run together okay here first of all i need an array for my rules uh, i mean the predefined rules so i will have an array and within it i will have several objects i should have a label and a value key here and for example admin and value can be one let me copy it two three and four and student tutor and guardian Okay, and I just need to add one more state to my component. I am going to name it rule value and set rule value for set a state and I don't need any default value for it. Okay. Then I need to import React Select. Uh, as you can see, if you go to the Creatable tab, you will you can see examples of this library. I am going to import it. Import Creatable from React Select and Creatable folder okay and here I'm going to copy it and change it to rules and then remove this input and use our curtable component curtable and I should define some props for it the first one which is necessary is unchange 
and I will have an error function which accept value from input and I need a function no and change rules and value let me write this function here cause field and value I will fill it later okay and I need options what is wrong with it sorry yes options I should define the uh, items inside my drop down here as we define it here I just need to copy it and paste it here and what else I need I need value just copy from rule value and paste it here and nothing else okay let's check our project what's the problem here Oh, I should remove it my VS code automatically imported that file which is not necessary okay as you can see I have my list here but I cannot select anything because we haven't written handle change function yet let's do it here I need to write a switch and check the field and then if it was rules I just need to set state using set rule value and pass the value parameter okay let's check it yeah but we need to add, add several items so I need to enable is multi for this curtable component is multi yes and yeah and we can clear all of them but we just have a style issue let's fix it uh, to customize a styles of react select uh, component we can do several ways one of them is to define another object I'm going to name it custom styles and I need another object provided and state let me show it to you uh, what I'm doing in the style section you can yeah you can have this object and pass it to the styles section okay let's do it first of all I need provided value here and I just need a border button one pixel dotted and pink and I need to specify the color I can check is it selected or not using a state is selected and if it was selected I need red color 
otherwise it should be blue and just a small padding yes okay let's copy it styles okay as you can see we have these borders top and bottom and paddings are added and now we can add as many items as we want and we can add new items other to our list okay let's go for tag uh, input for the tag input uh, we can do the same but it's a little bit different let me show you i just need to copy it here change it to tags and here i need to add more props for example i need to specify components and because i want to remove the drop down so i can do it like this i need to specify another object drop down indicator should be knob and what else I need? I need to add two more states here. Tag input value, set tag input value and tag value and set tag value. For this component, I should say that uh, we will have two states because here uh, we have one state for the final value of tax fill, which is an array. And also we will have another state for just the text value of the input, like this text inside the age uh, field we need to have it and we can specify it using input value so I am going to set input value to tag input value which is a simple text and I should set menu is open to false and for unchange just change it to tags I need to add a placeholder so let's do it like this type something and press enter I also need an event on key down I should write a function for it handle key down and it's going to accept an event we will write it later what else i need i also need to set on input change handle input change actually uh, I want to use this function to change the text of uh, that input value I just need to use set tag input value and set the value okay tag value we don't need any options here we don't need any styles and yeah that's it let's write handle key down function here 
first of all I want to check if not tag input value it should return because nothing has entered by the user inside the text box so we shouldn't do anything and also I need a switch to get event key and if it was enter or tab or any other key that you want you can add it here and finally I need to set tag value to first of all the previous values which is located inside tag value object and I need to write another function create option and the parameter will be tag input value let's write it here tag create option it will accept the label as we send it here we sent the text that user inserted inside the text box and we just want to return a new object label is label and value also is label is the structure that we need to use for every component which use react select we should have label and value keys okay i have a typo let's fix it and after setting the value i need to remove whatever is inside the text box so let's do it set tag set input tag set tag input value <laughs> to null and event dot prevent default because uh, I don't want to use uh, preferred actions of the browser when I click on enter or tab let's check it what the problem is again we imported wrong file okay a b c d yeah as you can see it works properly if i remove this event prevent default let's see what will happen a b c I just insert them using enter button but if I click on tab button as you can see it will be added but the focus will be changed to the next button which is not good for this purpose so I need to have event prevent default here okay guys thank you for watching this video for more information you can watch these videos